as a child, I believed the things that were told to me, especially from my parents. I was 12 years old when my father came into my room to tell me that my mother was leaving. He said, Chantel, your mom's packing her bags, and if she leaves, it's all your fault. I begged and I cried, but she still left. But she didn't leave because of me, she left because of him. And for my own parent to look me in the eye and tell me that our family's fate rested on my shoulders, that was the first big lie that anyone ever told me. I could give you many of examples of lies that we hear, but the greatest gift we can give ourselves is permission to live by our own truths. And the only way that we're gonna be able to do that is by reframing the lies that we've been told for decades. The first is, you can have it all. The second is, you have to say yes to everything. And the third is, women are just too emotional, especially in business. As a CEO and founder, I've had tremendous success within my career. I've built multi-million dollar healthcare companies, I've sold those companies, and I've managed hundreds of people. And I kind of think I'm a pretty intelligent woman, but I have tried so hard to live up to those three lies. And what's so disheartening is that over the last 30 years, I've spoken to women all over the globe, and those same three lies have held them back from living their best lives. I worry that if we don't change these beliefs of these lies, that we'll continue to try to achieve unattainable goals. We'll burn out and we'll never find the peace and happiness that we deserve. So let's take them one by one. How many of you guys have heard you can have it all? Now, how many of you heard that when you get there, it may not be exactly what you anticipated? I worked endless hours. I neglected many of my relationships and I didn't show up to a lot of very special events, especially my best friend's wedding, because I wanted to have it all. And then when I got to that moment of having it all, my whole world came crashing down. It was November 2014. I was walking through New York, cold day. I was on my way to sign the final paperwork to sell my company. This was it. I'd finally reached my have it all moment. I had the perfect relationship, I had children, I had lots of money, tremendous success in my career, and I had the house with a white picket fence. And then my phone rang. It was my spouse. They called to tell me our relationship was over. The next year of my life was nothing like I anticipated or what everyone promised me. It was filled with sadness, with loneliness, I had focused so much on the outcome that I didn't realize all the wonderful things that I was missing throughout the journey. If this sounds like you, I don't want it to be you. I want you to learn from my mistakes because you can't have it all, at least not at the same time. My professional life was great, but my personal life was in the gutter. Line number two, you have to say yes to everything. As a 12-year-old girl, I didn't know that I could look my father in the eye and say, you go talk to mom. You make her stay. You do better. You be better. I just cried, begged her to stay. And when she left, I felt like I had failed my family. You know, as children, we were taught not to question authority, which brought me into a lot of very bad habits in my, my life especially the inability to say no. Inability to say to no to things that I didn't want to do or didn't make me happier. I'm here to tell you, that's a lie. Sorry, now I'm getting emotional. That's a lie. We don't have to be like that. I've done it in my personal life. I've said yes to being room mom, even though I am drowning and can barely keep my head above water. Why? Because one of my child asked me to do it or because another parent shamed me into it. In my professional life, I've said yes to things that I know are not my responsibility, but why? I wanna be the team player. I'm here to tell you today, we don't have to say yes to everything. I think women are just programmed to say yes. 
because that's who we are. We want to make everyone happy. But what about ourselves? What are we telling ourselves? That everyone else's happiness is more important than our own? So I'm here to tell you, you don't have to say yes. You don't have to say yes, and you shouldn't feel guilty. Oh, the guilt. I love the guilt. We all have the guilt. If I don't do something for my children, I'm selfish. If I don't do something for my spouse or with my friends, I'm selfish. If I want to take a few minutes just to take care of me, I'm selfish. So I hope we take and we reframe that lie from you have to say yes to you have to do things that are good and healthy for yourself. The third lie, women are too emotional especially in business. I think we've all heard women are either too emotional or they're too aggressive, right? When I was younger, I felt the only way I could gain respect was to be very authoritative, be a dictator, and not let anyone get close to me. But that wasn't who I was. But I thought that was the only way that I was going to advance in my career. It was like living two lives, one in my personal life and one in my professional life. And finally, one day I decided I was going to take the mask off. I was going to live exactly how I wanted to live. I wanted to live one life, one life of authenticity. I wanted to be able to show my emotions. If you look at today, the best leaders out there are the ones that show their innate traits. Compassion, empathy, transparency, authenticity. So why are we not being like that in our professional lives? Great story to tell you. I had a lady that I had to fire. It was a very, very upsetting situation for me, and I knew it was going to be devastating for her. I loved her as a person, but she just wasn't getting the job done. I told myself walking into the room, I got to be strong, be strong. But I have to tell you, I could not hold back the tears as I gave her this devastating news. She came to me later, about three months later, she called to tell me, hey, Thank you so much. Thank you for being the leader I needed you to be, direct yet compassionate. Because of you, I found the job of my dreams. So again, me showing emotion was a positive thing. It's made me a better person, a better leader, and a better parent. So I hope you choose to reframe the lies that you've been told for decades so you're able to live your best life the lie of, you can have it all. No, you can't. Not at the same time. The fact that you have to say yes to everything. No, you don't. Be true to yourself. Do things that make you happy and are healthy for you. And the third lie, don't show emotions. We're all human, and our emotions make us who we are. Thank you.